<laughs> yep. You hear that? <laughs> but uh, I'm going to work at reassembling this Super XL 130 while everybody has fun. Alrighty. Uh, I'll get you back here in a second. <laughs> Alrighty, oil pumps on, clutches on. The carburetor governor is blocked. The carburetor is rebuilt. Everything's installed. We're almost done. All the hard stuff. We're already through all the hard stuff. I just got to take care of the flywheel side, get it all together, and we're getting pretty close. Alrighty. So I'm curious to see what my compression's sitting at right now. Tester's hooked up. The rope is really short. I should have put a new one on. I probably will have to, but we'll see how this goes. My tester's leaking. not holding pressure it goes up and it bounces back down let me maybe I can get get it freed up let me just lube this cylinder up a little better The issue would probably be here, this little valve. It's got a little dirt on it. Maybe that was. Yeah, my gauge is just leaking. looks to be, I don't know, like the cage is just bouncing up, coming back down. I wonder, let me try it one more, see if I can just get it to go in there like I want to. Hey. Alrighty, let's give this another try. Knocked you over. I got a good test that time. I'm gonna warn you, it's a little higher than I was expecting. So, I think I'm really close, I think I'm 197 maybe, just shy of 200. Yeah. So I'm thinking. She's stout. So, I uh, been doing some tank cleaning for about the past six hours. And it's pretty bad. 
been just doing anything I could to get something out of there, and I got probably three or four tablespoons worth of crud out of the tank. It looks pretty decent now, a lot better than it did, but there's only one way to find out if I got enough. But it looks decent enough that I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to run it. Now, right now, I'm working on a bar. I'm going to put this 24 on it, but the oiler's not right. I, I need to have it catch the oil from this hole. And this is the normal oil hole here. So I got to put a hole from inside the groove to this hole. Uh, I haven't figured out what I'm going to use yet. I'm either going to use a grinding disc or a really small drill bit. Um, I haven't figured it out yet what I'm going to use, but that's where I'm at. All right. All right, so I got the bar ready. I only did one side of it. Um, so I just took and ground slot right down into it that's all i did i only did one side because so i only did one side because basically these grinding discs it takes all i got just to get that hole and this is my only disc that i got left so i'd have to get more discs before i could do the other side but i'm good enough with just the one side for now um i'm hoping to actually go even bigger on the bar so this bar may not be on this saw much longer, or for very long, if you know what I mean. So, let's work at getting this thing mounted. I did pick up a brand new chain. Brand new. <sighs> you, uh ever bought different brands of chains whenever you pull an organ chain out of the box and if you look close you can see differences in the chain quality that isn't there with other chains you can just kind of see differences in it and to be honest for the difference in cost I would just buy Oregon really if you can if not you know other other chains will work if you have a tendency to put the chain in the dirt all the time then maybe go with cheaper chains but for me I kind of like the quality that comes with Oregon if you know what I mean one of the things I didn't discuss is that I made the decision to um, change out the muffler. So it's not the original factory muffler on this thing. It is actually a uh, muffler off of a Super 2, or not a Super 2, a Super XL Auto. The mufflers on the Super XL Auto are larger they have a slightly larger volume, which is why I made that decision. Um, just because of all the work I did, I wanted to try to get a little more volume out of it. So I went with that muffler. Now the muffler is stock. I did not gut it. I don't like gutting mufflers unless I have to. Just something about me, you know. The mufflers are already loud enough as they are. Uh, my phone ran out of memory. <laughs> Somebody's making a lot of videos, you know. But we're getting close here. She is. Let's 
See the streaks? That's for me cleaning it. I was using some pretty powerful stuff to dissolve that nastiness in there. Kind of faded the paint a little bit. We got one thing left to do, and that's the handlebar. And the handlebar is bent. See it? Can you see? There's a bend to it. Let's see if I can sort that out here. Do I have another handlebar? Look at this VI handlebar. I could just put it on probably. A little bit different shape, but at least it's straight. So looks like I'm gonna have to take this much rubber off. In order to get going. Right about here. I still want to keep my rubber just in case I want to put it back on. You know, you never know. There it is. I actually kind of like that handlebar on there. So yeah, the muffler is off of Super XL Auto. So. I think she looks pretty good. I do say so myself. There's one thing left to do, you know. So, next time we get to fire it, it's like midnight right now, so I can't do it now. But, you just have to wait till the next video. We'll get it fired up, and hopefully, we don't blow it up. You know what I mean? Fingers crossed. Alrighty, we'll see you next time. Later.